Common thread, the Dallas Stars had some miscues that led to those goals, Torch. Yeah, it's a tough situation to kill five on three, and uh, one of the jobs for the opponent is to be in a box one. You'll see here the Vegas Knights are setting up here. Go ahead and run the tape. So it's five on three. They're going to try to get into their box one here. You'll see it. Now pause it right now. So now they're going into a box one. Keep going. Pause it right here. So now you're seeing their box one. So do you have down and backs? down and backs for one timers and now you're going to wait and when the puck gets down low then you're going to have the kick out bumper be here for the release go ahead so pause it right now so now see how he, he comes open he comes up here to be open for a one timer right now for a quick release he doesn't want to get there early to sell it off telling them what they're doing but now Lindell has to swivel for the back door that's why he kicks open to here go ahead and play it now pause it right there so right here, Dallas defenseman's in great position, body, stick, deny the puck, help with the F2, I mean, uh, the second forward here, getting with the stick, but body to be in a one-time position to block the shot. Go ahead and play it, pause it. So go back again here. So the defenseman's right there. Go ahead, play it, pause it right there. So now he's under, he should be underneath stone stick here. Go ahead. But now he has to come over the top on the, the replay of it. Stay underneath the sticks right here. He's great. Stay underneath the stick off the initial play. And then you just stay under, under uh, stone stick here. Go ahead. Pause. Pause right now. Stay underneath his stick because even if it goes here to Masha Show, you can still block this shot with your body. Deny this. We don't want to give up this goal. Now just stay there. Keep your stick under for the boys and girls out there. Keep your stick underneath because guess what? So when this play happens here, when this play happens, I got my stick. I'm denying the point. I'm cane underneath the neck. But if you come over like this, now the time and space coming over gives him time to get a good release on the goal. Go ahead. And Stone's lucky here too because that puck's way out in front. Yeah, it's a okay. poke and play. They're lucky, but that's why you want to. You don't want to have your sticks up here. Because no. Look at the time. If the puck's there, I'm from here to here. It's already in the net. But you want to keep. You want to keep your stick there to release. Quick. There you go. I like it. All right, this is a tying goal late in the game. You can see the time on the clock. Dallas had a really good third period. They had the lead. You could tell they understood the game they wanted to play. But at the, about the four minute mark. You could sense Vegas was coming on and coming on strong. And here they are on the four check. Now this pass. So this is the goal score back here. Marcia so. But Eichel now in the corner. He's a world class player. You could see Ottinger the goaltender. He's got to focus on the puck. Marcia so is going to arrive on the scene so quick. We just roll it ahead. Eichel right there. It's a no look pass. And for the defenseman here. Suter. If you back it up on the four check. That's really where that play started for these guys is where. They had the puck in their own end. I don't know how far back we can go back here. Keep going. So right here, if we start it right here, all right, Dallas is in full control. Okay, that that it's a puck off the goaltender. You see Suter. We stop it here. The four check of the Golden Knights is set up perfectly. F1 applies pressure on the puck. F2 takes the wall away. F3 waits, and if it comes out on this side, he's going to attack. But right here, Suter on the backhand. He sees that he doesn't have anything here, so he's going to continue around the back of the net. Let's roll it. Okay, inside position by Echo. That's a great job to get a piece of that. If we stop it there, Suter actually loses his stick. Now he's got to adjust it. He's got it in a bad position, but it's going to be fine after that. The problem is all this open ice, and the, def and the defenders are just focused on the puck, and that's an advantage for Marcia, so is going to get inside. So let's roll it here. As Eichel now made the play to get a little bit of resistance on Suter. Suter's back in front. He gets organized, but advantage to the moving player, in this case, is Marcia So. As he flies by Suter, it's too late, and he gets that stick on him. What a shot to go upstairs. Yeah, and it's a great play here, so run it here. Pause it. So he's got Heskinen for a release, and he tries to give him a little bump, but it goes further than it's uh, supposed to go to him because it should be just like a D to D bump to Heskinen. But then Barbashev is doing both responsibility. He doesn't go rushing in on top of Heskinen to make it a 2-1-2-4 check. He's patient, 
recovers the puck on the wall, go ahead and play it. You'll see him. He doesn't come running in. Look, pause it now. Now he's got great poise. And look at Eichel's head right here. Oh, Already awesome. looking for the slot. Okay, go ahead and play it. But pause it right now. And he also knows that it's a righty, not a lefty, coming in. So he doesn't put it to the middle of the ice. He puts it on the other side of the ice. Recognize what your coverage is when you're coming in on the offensive zone. He knows that that's going to be there. Go ahead. That he's a righty. He's not a lefty. Mm -hmm. He doesn't throw it wow. to that side of the ice. And that's just a fantastic play by a fantastic player. But again, three, three things have to happen on a goal scored for or against. And it's usually, you know, a, a mistake or a mishap or a bad pass or a bad blown coverage. We all watch the game. Well, we don't all see the stuff that they see. I'm fascinated.